Welcome back all to a very special episode of Scenes from Witch Witch. No, nothing to do with saving baby harp seals or Greta Thunberg, but rather my commentary on the first Land of the Dead test run, which, surprisingly, I was able to participate in. My gratitude to those responsible for bringing the Land of the Dead to life, pun intended, and my sincere respect for the efforts involved. My primary purpose for wanting to participate in the initial test run was based on my desire to simply see the place. Running around tracking the enemy can be done anywhere. Thus my principal goal was to capture video which could then be presented in a format designed to highlight the environment for those not fortunate enough to have been included. In that context, I hope you all enjoy. This video I made possible by a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Nah. I just made that up. This video isn't sponsored by Coors Light either, but I did think this image worth including. Running commentary will follow. I hope you enjoy, and as always, thanks for watching. Okay guys, I am recording this live as the video runs, so what I'm going to do here is just provide some general commentary on uh, what is occurring? This is my initial exit from the war camp, first time in uh, Land of the Dead since uh, the live version of the game. You can see the map and all the battlefield objectives on it. Now we're coming out. I don't remember this statue, this gateway here. I don't remember this from uh, the live version. I think this is new, but regardless, it looks cool. And then the guys find a, uh, a witch hunter running around in. There he is, right around the corner. Look at this. I get my first kill. <laughs> first kill on the Land of the Dead. Uh, and uh, like it says, I hope that's an omen of things to come. But anyway, we continue on down into the flatlands. And at some point, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, try to translate the language on that obelisk back there to see if it is actual Egyptian hieroglyphics. Anyway, the first fight we get into, we find order running around. And one thing I've always loved about Land of the Dead, and it seems to be um, continued here, is the fact that it's such a wide open space. There's a lot of room uh, encompassed in the Land of the Dead map. And there's a lot of order here. And what's going on at the moment, there's, of course, a lot of order. And I knew if I committed uh, that, you know, I would get instantly steamrolled. So I decided not to in that particular um, I decided not to in that particular fight. And it has been a while since I've seen that many order all running. But anyway, I head back down toward uh, whatever this objective is and find the destruction zerg. So I think they all gathered up next to me because uh, I had Scarlett Johansson on the uh, TV screen there. But anyway. Um, I team up with these guys and I decide to just follow along even though the, it doesn't appear that the, it's the warband that I was in. Okay, we find order down, down by the river and I thought that an interesting take. As I recall from the live version, if you went into the water, the damage was pretty profound. You didn't have much time. You certainly didn't have enough time to swim from one side of the river to the other before the accumulated damage uh, would kill you. Here, uh, it's, le it's 450 points a tech, uh, tech. 450 points a tick, which is certainly uh, within the wheelhouse of any good healer to make up for um, as you're swimming along. So I was talking about this on my stream when this occurred. You see these guys again swimming out into the water uh, across the river you know, to, to, to make their escape. And a bunch of our guys go in here after them. And I talked about the fact that perhaps as they go along, this may be adjusted. It may be adjusted so the, uh, the river cannot be used in that particular fashion to be able to get from one side to the other in order to just make good of the escape. So I almost went too far. And uh, actually, as it turns out, I did because uh, the order zerg is coming in here. And that's another one of the uh, positive factors about Land of the Dead, is there's a lot of room to maneuver. And you can employ some real strategy here uh, with, you know, with, with the space that's involved. You can 
boy, a lot of strategy. And do these kind of wheelhouse roaming movements that you can surprise your opposition quite easily. Okay, so we head to another one of the battlefield objectives. I think this is, um, I don't know, Moon of the Black Skull or something. But anyway, um, I didn't know that uh, Order was ahead of us there. Initially, I didn't know they were ahead of us in the uh, next room. And I thought we were just going in here, you know, <laughs> just to see what was there. Because that was kind of the mindset I was in when I got into the land of the dead. That was kind of the mindset. I just wanted to see, you know, what was here, what was new, what was different, what was the same. But we get into this fight, and you know, it, 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 if this is, uh, again, if this is a harbinger of things to come, uh, I think, you know, land of the dead will be quite effective to have these battlefield objective fights in terrain uh, like this and within within compacted realms such as what you're seeing right here and the one thing about the land of the dead terrain is the aesthetics are very uh, pleasing and the terrain it's not the same as say running around you know Thunder Mountain or Black Crag uh, are the Battle for Praga sea map where everything just gets in your way. In the Land of the Dead, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of terrain. But it, it it's not like you're having to... Oh, wait. I'm not sure how she got in there. I have no idea how that happened. Anyway, all right. But what I was saying is, uh, you know, the, the terrain doesn't fight you at every step like it does on in, in other zones. You know, in the Warhammer world here, it's just kind of, you know, it's kind of cool, and it flows. The battles flow a lot more easily around what is here, and I enjoy that part of it. Okay, now we out as you can obviously see, we outnumbered order in this particular fight, so uh, you know we're able to to, to wrap it up. But there's going to be one more one more kill here in just a moment, and I which I left in on purpose. There it is. I have no idea who Dancerin is. I've never heard that name before, but, you know. Okay, I found the aesthetics, though, very quite appealing from a visual perspective. And, as I said, the environment, you know, enhanced the tone of the fight. It sort of added to the, uh, the enjoyment of the fight. And I can remember his name. Um, Officer Friendly, I guess. You know, he's got his hand out there like, stop. All right, so this is just some, uh, I turned my UI off and capture some video so I put these little clips in here just to show that we were kind of running around in different areas and um, I turn my UI back on because we got this stupid warrior priest here out by himself and then the order Zerg shows up so one more fight before we draw to a close actually one more of the uh, large-scale fights I should say um, I have one more small one after this but I hang out on the periphery because uh, in large-scale fights like this, you know, without a dedicated guard and you know, there's only one healer in a particular party that I'm in, and, and he's not even around. So, you know, I decided that it would be best if I just sort of hung out on the edges and um, tried to uh, do what I uh, tried to accomplish what I could out there now order aggro the big mob guy there he is you can see him uh, the big skeleton guy flailing around and um, you know order aggro him and that was kind of cool so this is good fighting this is this is uh it, it's been a while since i've seen this many players you know all sort of gathered in one place to do battle on this scale and this is a couple war bands each, at least, you know, um, fighting against each other. And that's that's sort of the way the server used to be as a as a norm, right? As a matter of course. And over time, it's kind of drifted away from that for various reasons. But the scope of it, you know, is very impressive. The scope of Land of the Dead, it is very impressive. And uh, I, I was impressed, I guess. I say that more than once in the, in the video, but I was impressed. And again, I want to I go back and revisit this 
because this is another occasion where uh, you can see water out there, all of them swimming away. And the, the river at this particular location is even wider than it was before. Now, I made the mistake here, of, and I know I'm the only guy who plays this game who ever makes a mistake. I know, I know. But I thought the destruction was going to follow these guys, and as you can see, destruction mounted up and rode away, so I got caught hanging out. But anyway, uh, a little bit later, I do find this. There's a warrior priest down there. Looks like a sword master or some other guy. I use the edges of the building to come around, and I'm going to turn and just try to come up behind him, which is another aspect of Land of the Dead I like. Well, he immediately moves, but lucky me, there's another witch elf there, and together we hit the guy, and lo and behold, boom. <laughs> One of the aspects about Land of the Dead that I love, the solo roaming that you can do. Okay, there's more footage available on my uh, Twitch page if you're interested. However, I didn't want this video to be too overly long, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. But I was impressed. I was impressed with the state of the Land of the Dead at the moment. It's a great beginning, and I had a lot of fun. You know, I'm really excited. So the dungeons will come when the dungeons will come, and that's great. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. My favorite honking. Born in Arizona, who is a